When you're dating someone and they seem really engaged and really interested and then all of a sudden it's like they just put a mask over their face. They don't see you anymore. They're kind of looking through you, kind of distracted. Or you're talking to them and they seem distracted. And this is usually before they actually split. You may go through a whole litany of reasons why this is happening. Maybe the relationship was getting close and they got scared or they grew up in a family where the parents didn't know how to argue and how to come together. They weren't good communicators or they got divorces. Many times the person dating this kind of person will have all kinds of reasons why they pulled away. And the interesting thing is unless you talk to them directly and they're being very candid, you will never know. But in this case, if we're talking about dating a guy who ends up, he seems really engaged, then all of a sudden he gets cold feet or he just walks away. I want you to know up front, there's a lot of reasons why he will do that. I have several reasons why he may, unless you checked out these specific reasons with him and were able to come to some sort of a solution prior to him leaving or shortly after, there's a good chance that if they walked away, you should allow it and give them the space and, and just walk away from the relationship because more than likely, whatever happened, they weren't ready to process, they weren't ready to deal with. And you giving excuses at this point for them to treat you that way or to just suddenly go cold turkey is exactly the wrong thing to enable because in the relationship further down the line, there's going to be other risks the two of you have to take together for the relationship. And if his heart's not in it now, it's probably not going to be with you later either. The first of these, he could just be scared. He could be scared of what he's feeling. In fact, this is a very typical reason, especially if it's a guy who's never really gotten intensely committed or intensely um, interwined with another person before. This could be overwhelming for him and, he, and it might be too soon. He might be emotionally immature or he's just not ready to handle it. You do not want to keep dating this kind of person because you're always going to be pulling them along. He might be scared of commitment. If he's got a commitment phobia, that's not going to end here. It will continue throughout your relationship. He's clinging on his own independence. He might see the two of you as maybe he himself is becoming more dependent on you. He's not comfortable with that. So he's going to pull away at that point. He's scared of getting hurt. A lot of people out there are terrified of getting hurt. They got hurt as a child or they got hurt in a relationship right before yours. Doesn't matter how old or how soon. If it was something that happened in childhood, many times there's PTSD involved in those relationships. And when they're with someone who brings up those intense feelings again, it's scary and it all comes flooding back. It's all a bit too intense for him. Like it's too much, too soon. He's not ready again, probably not emotionally mature enough for a relationship with you. He needs to recharge his masculinity. Many men feel like there's a push-pull with them it's in regards to masculinity, the way they were taught masculinity growing up. And is this person making too many de demands, making them feel more or accept their femininity more than they're capable of doing at this point? He's got other stressors in his life that he hasn't confided in you. That's a real issue. It can be financial, can be relationship, can be family, and he's just not ready to share it. And you can't pry it open. So once again, until this person deals with it and is able to talk about it in a relationship, it's not going to work for him in a relationship more than likely with you. Uh, he feels he doesn't deserve as much happiness as he has with you. If he grew up in a home where you had to fight for everything, where respect was one of those things, nobody just gave you for respect, you had to really go after it, then I think th this kind of person can really struggle in a happy, committed relationship. This, this particular problem you could get counseling for and it would really help. He's confusing lust for love and he's finding that it's fading 
And this happens many times with guys who, especially if they've relied on porn heavily, or they've watched porn, or they're currently watching porn, very confusing what real love is and lust. And they interchange the rules and it's just not doable. You don't want somebody who is not mature enough to step up to the plate and be a man, be an equal partner with you. He may be exploring other options that you don't know about. And if that's the case, you don't want to be second. You made that very clear, hopefully. And so he's going to split because he knows that if you catch him, it will be over and more than likely you would catch him. So what should you do? Well, the number one thing I think I would suggest is you go to counseling, get a professional's perspective on what's going on because every case is different. This, this video is for a lot of you, but it won't be your individual experience. And so going to a therapist can really help you understand and make a plan for your future going forward, most likely without this person. Give them space. If they ask for space, in fact, this is a rule of thumb. If your partner ever asks, asks for space, give them space. Define what it looks like first. Like what does space look like for you? And then as much as you can, you give another person space when you take back your, your ownership of your life and start making your life more about things you find interesting so you're not so available or dependent on this other person. Um, sp silence, as far as can you talk together, you should, within the rules of space, he, he should say, I still want to talk to you and you should say that too. If they say, I want space and I don't want to hear from you, then that's a big red flag. And you know what? You let that relationship go as soon as they say that. Um, be consistent. I think if you're used to going over there two days a week and he says, well, I need space. One day a week is good for me. Then do it one day a week. Always be consistent with your love. No silent treatment, no games. If, you're, if you love him and you've told him you love him, then you love him through this, if that's what the two of you are going to decide to do. And going forward, that stays consistent. And keep whatever's going on with the two of you. You don't want to share this on social media. You don't want to tell the world. Keep it between the two of you so you can talk about it. And give respect to the relationship. If it has to end, make sure it ends in a in a good way, in a positive way. If it was a real relationship for you, if you felt genuine love, then it should end with mutual respect for both people. And I think lastly, show your support for, for whatever else he's got going on. If he says, you know, I want it, I want to take more time with work, then you can allow him that, you can support that. That may not mean going with you. That may mean the end of the relationship, but it's all part of that. If it was a real relationship, if the two of you were doing well and one person is needing space, is needing time away, is needing something else, rather than be angry and throw things or call each other names, you want to stay integrous to the relationship. Have it, have space, ha do what you can to keep it honorable. And then if it has to end, it's much easier to end and say goodbye on a good note. And that is really the emotionally mature thing to do. If you end it hating each other, then the relationship has not taught you anything. And perhaps you have to reevaluate it if it was a good relationship or a relationship that could have stood on its own anyway.